Hi, it's Marshall from Bitcoin for Dummies.co.uk and today we're talking about is Bitcoin a scam because I have this conversation so many times in the day it's unbelievable. People are just sitting there that oh my god the price has crashed it's never going to recover it's not going to happen. It's a funny thing that you say that because if you look at Bitcoin over the last three years you'll see that January was the only time when it takes a dip and then it seems to go up. Now it did go very very high between November and December, we know that because it never hit them highs before. If we all knew that we'd be buying a lot of Bitcoin well before that. People have become millionaires overnight with the Bitcoin. It's uh, revolutionized uh, the future of how cryptocurrencies and how from fiat currencies is making a changeover. Um, I, I get a lot of messages every day about how can I make a wallet, how can I uh, get slightly involved or just some idea that okay just get a feel of what it's about because if you don't know it can be quite um, quite scary at the beginning though just not, not finding how to do it and um, I've made a couple of videos and um, you can have a look on uh, YouTube you can just search under Marshall Malik and you will find them on there in the YouTube and um, just again, the conversation today with some people is that, oh, I don't know nothing about it. It's, it's not easy. You know, one needs to do their research about it. But it's just moving away from fiat currency and where people control. And you can have your wallet with you all the time and how you can make payments, instant payments. All you need is um, uh, an address and you, you send it for, via whichever wallet that you have. At the moment, I use... Um, uh, what do you call it coinbase as a wallet and there's many other wallets out there that you can use so uh, the the scam that people think it is and people are so excited and happy in this you know the you, the, the relief on people's faces when bitcoin went down in price you, it, it's, it's just phenomenal uh, they don't realize that how where it's gun, going to go uh, just an idea to know about the currency and how much Bitcoin is going to be produced. It's going to be 21 million Bitcoins worldwide is what's going to be in total production when they are fully mined. And that's it. No more. I personally feel, I think, I, I say to people that, you know, uh, the, the Bitcoin itself is, is like a Bugatti. It's, it's, it's um, limited amounts. Uh, there's other currencies out there that like 100 million, there's billion, there's, there's just so much uh, currency and availability of coin. But Bitcoin is only going to be 21 million. Now, this was, uh, what do you call it, a software developer called Satoshi Nakamoto, uh, Nakamoto you know, who produced the Bitcoin uh, and uh, proposed, what do you call it, this uh, electronic payment system. And it is based on mathematical proof. So um, it is working. It is out there. There's loads of more coins. I just want to, you know, just rummage through and take you how way you can find them uh, if you want to buy it yourself, what you could possibly do. Uh, and I'm just going to run you a little bit through that, basically, uh, how it's worked. If I just show you my screen here, you just need to go to coinmarketcap.com. It gives you a really good indication on every day on the last 24 hours. For example, in uh, what a coin is doing here, are all the top coins, as you can see here, the circulation supply, there's 16, nearly 17 million of Bitcoin. Okay, Ethereum it is 97 million. Ripple, I don't know if you see them numbers, it's humongous. Bitcoin Cash, as you can see here, 16 million. Cardano, again, another big one there. And Litecoin. So you can just put whatever you want into here. So if we just did BTC itself, okay. So in the last 24 hours, 1.3 million BTC. Right there, look at that. Is that phenomenal or what? So in pounds, I've got in GBP, uh, what do you call it? Because we're in the UK here. So you can see here is GBP. And uh, you can see that there, that how much volume has gone over the last 24 hours. Look at the market cap. Okay, I'm not going to say that. You can just see that yourself there. All right. And circulation supply and the maximum supply is 21 million and that is it as you can see here from when it started even over here you can see the price of it oh my oh my if you knew that the price from here would just take a jump like that there look at that there look at that all right and then where we were to here all right okay at its highest points so you know you can see that that it's been it's been a journey it's been an amazing journey for Bitcoin right now.
But what's going to happen now? What is the future saying? Where are we going to go with Bitcoin? Well, this is something that you have to decide yourself that uh, it's, it's being used. <laughs> you, you'll find every day more people are accepting Bitcoin in their businesses. Uh, I know there's driving instructors who charge, uh, take payment in Bitcoin. Um, a friend of mine who has a restaurant is looking at taking part payment in Bitcoin. And not just Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum coin, Ripple. People are just now moving on to different uh, platforms saying, okay, you know what, this is my wallet address and pay me this much for that. And people are happy to pay it like that then. And uh, it's happening. So whether you accept it or not, now just imagine for a moment, just imagine that actually Bitcoin does go to maybe $50,000, even $100,000 per Bitcoin. And it's right now at eight and a half thousand pounds. It's over $10,000, yeah? So just imagine what it would be like then. Uh, you've got uh, John McAfee. He's saying he's predicted that by 2020, which is only what two years, that the price of Bitcoin will be half a million dollars per coin. That's phenomenal. Let's say it doesn't go to that price and it just goes to 50 grand to 100 grand. That's a lot of money and what you could do with that. And uh, the world is changing and they will be accepting cryptocurrencies. Uh, I was having a lunch with a friend of mine. Uh, the other day we were having and what happened was I met one of my old pupils and he just told me that um, he used to work for HSBC and he just got a job in another uh, big accountancy firm uh, a very big accountancy firm and he told me that he's been hired for blockchain and for cryptocurrency and by controlling it I was like interesting and that's a very big firm in the UK so uh, when you hear stories like that and you think, hmm, where is this going? It, it's it's going to be an interesting ride. And uh, you have many options on how you can get Bitcoin. And you just have to do your read up. You must do your read up. This is a very important point, you know. Look out there. Uh, don't just, uh, there's so many, I, I get so many spam emails every day. I just delete them because, you know, I'm just, I read them and then I delete them. But, you know, make sure that, you know, you do your own due diligence before you get in. I'm not saying to you, go and buy it, but um, I would love to. I I would love to buy it. If I, if I could, if I had the money right now, fiat currency, I would buy a whole lot of Bitcoin for myself. I'd be happy. Um, I think Jack Ma, Jack Ma said that, um, you know, if you have children, you should get at least one Bitcoin for them, at least, at least one Bitcoin. That would be their future taken care of. And, and I believe him. Again, uh, when people talk to me about who you would listen to, for me, I have a lot of respect for Richard Branson. So when he talks about um, cryptocurrency and what it can do, and then somebody like Bill Gates, again, uh, these people are, billionaires and they're very successful businessmen so for for me i would listen to someone like that and i respect what they say and they're all talking about what cryptocurrencies and the future holds with them there from fiat currencies to where we're going into digital currencies and i think it's very very uh, important and um I'm excited. I, I think the future, there's um, a lot of coins coming out there. And um, I was speaking to somebody else again today, and he was saying that he just told someone about cryptocurrency, and within a few weeks, he made he made a good bit of money. And it's about the lifestyle. And the reason why I'm doing it is because uh, I, I want to help people in the way that I see too many people not looking happy and fulfillment of their, their 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 life or how they're fulfilling it every day of the week and how they just tied up in this 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 tangle zone of where they're just busy 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 because they have got so much stress in their heads they've got to pay so much bills and all the young ones are trying to get a, get onto the housing ladder and they can't do it because they're not earning enough money and it's so difficult for them to get onto that ladder so how do they do it it's about looking at different options and um the, the thing is that if we're not thinking about uh, how to make money while you're sleeping, I think that's a very important point. So if you can make money while you're sleeping, then you're all right. And uh, if you're doing that, then fantastic and all the best and great. And if you're not, you need to look at that. 
Um, but we just saw in the news a few days ago uh, about the company which is about going into liquidation and you know you're hearing about 20,000 jobs that are going to you know like they, they don't know what's happening with them there and uh, losing jobs 20,000 people would lose their jobs so just imagine they could be sitting in high positions where they were paying getting paid good money and the company's just gone into liquidation overnight bang done so what does one do uh, and it's always looking uh, I've always thought out of the box myself uh, for 22 years I've been a driving instructor for 22 years I still am a driving instructor uh, and I love teaching teaching is something I've always enjoyed doing but I've always thought out of the box as well I always looked at doing different things and I've always kept trying I've always kept trying and I always will keep trying to the day I die because that's how I've been built. I felt I've fallen many times. I've fallen many times. I've failed many times. But you know what? It doesn't bother me. I still go on strong and I still will go on strong because that's the way I'm built. And that's my, my, my mentality and my mindset and I'm never going to move away from that. And I would say the same for yourselves. I, I see so many people with so much potential. You have so much potential and you, they're just wasting that potential albeit with just watching all day long you're watching programs or just playing games or just wasting just doing a job where you could do so much more but you have to believe in yourself for that nobody else can make that happen so i just got off the topic a little bit there but i think that you know uh, the main thing is uh, back to where i'm coming to is bitcoin again i don't think it's a scam is here to say there's many other currencies out there as well i would say to do your own like i said due diligence you've got like I said the website there coinmarketcap.com i think that's a good place where to look at many coins and just watch how the market is going and you'll see that they're, they're, they're not going anywhere and no one can control it at the moment okay there will be certain routes to control when you pull money out from a, from a cryptocurrency to fiat but there is a lot of places where it's just going to happen. It's just going to be cryptocurrency, just digital currency is exchanging, and fiat currency is going to just eventually just um, go very low key. So I hope this video was useful to you, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you.